So last week I had the pleasure to get invited from Sony to a very special event in Lisbon. They announced, as many other companies did, their new flagship in Barcelona back at the MWC. Now a month later they invited many bloggers, YouTubers, journalists and even TV teams from all over Europe to check out one unique feature about the phone. The 960 FPS slow motion feature. Together with a professional slow motion movie maker, I had the pleasure to film and test out the Sony Xperia X Set Premium, Sony's latest flagship. First a few facts. It hosts again a stunning 4K HDR screen, but also the other specs are true flagship specifications. Inside there's the latest Snapdragon 835 chipset, Android 7.1.1 and top end water resistance. Sony produces almost all camera sensors for the big players, so maybe you got a Sony IMAX sensor in your smartphone. On the Piper, Sony phones usually have the biggest and best sensors, but under real condition it is sometimes different. Just remember the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. You can also check out our video in the info card now. So the Sony Z5 Premium with its 23 megapixel sensor, which couldn't produce as good pictures as for instance the S7 with its 12 megapixel sensor. In the X Set Premium, they use a 19 megapixel sensor, which is still a lot compared to the Galaxy S8. Sony fights with its big single sensors against many manufacturers which use dual camera setups like Huawei does in their recent lineups. A big sensor is important because that means it can catch more light. This is also why other smartphone producers use two sensors. This will give you the ability to get more light into it. Sony has a big advantage as the world's biggest producer for smartphone camera sensors. It can work directly with the people who built the sensors and have all the knowledge about them. Also they have their own movie department called Sony Pictures and they constantly develop new smartphone video technology. The combination of these verticals is what lets Sony often use the newest technologies in products from totally different fields. So moving on, back to the phone, Sony made some big changes regarding its motion eye sensor, which has improved to processes images 5 times faster. This is designed to capture pictures just before you shoot and predict the best snap for you. The camera takes pictures before you even press the shutter. As soon as the camera detects motion, it takes a picture to make sure you get the best shot. This works pretty well and we are already excited for some fast moving action scenes in our full review coming soon. Under daylight conditions, the x -Set Premium captures extremely good detailed pictures with a good dynamic range. However, almost every flagship smartphone of 2017 produces great pictures if there is enough light. The camera software is not finished yet and this phone here is still a prototype so the final image quality will be definitely better. The low light image quality does not look impressive yet, I think they still need to work on the software and get this improved. Pictures turned out to be very grainy and blurry, but I'm absolutely sure that this is a pre-production issue. The highlight truly is the slow motion camera mode, with its awesome 960 frames per second in HD on a smartphone, this is a unique feature. A few years ago 960 FPS cameras did cost a fortune and now you can have this feature in a smartphone. For sure it's HD cropped and it's kinda noisy in some light conditions, but I'm still impressed by the high frame rate because this was exactly what I was looking for a few months ago for our destruction videos and also for my daily Instagram stories. You can press the slow motion button, it takes 960 frames and boosts them up to a super smooth 6 second clip within the clip. That means you can capture as many slow motion scenes as you want in one video, but all with a max length of 6 seconds. The front facing camera comes with a huge 13 megapixel sensor that captures pretty good looking selfies under good lightning conditions. However, with the pre-production sample we couldn't get any good selfies in low light situations. The iPhone 7 Plus handles those situations way better even though it does not really have the best front facing camera. But just keep in mind, picture quality will change a lot in the final units. 
because this sample here we got very very early. Still, we are happy to show you our first insights off the camera of this flagship from Sony. All in all, the XSAT Premium looks very interesting. As soon as we get our hands on the final consumer version, which will be shipped around the beginning of June, we will compare it with the iPhone 7 Plus and the Samsung S8. We hope you stay tuned for all the answers and much more in our full review. Please jump now to the comments and ask anything which is on your mind. We also appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and switch on notifications, so you're always the first to check out our new content. I'm Flo from Tech Magnet, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.